you're watching the AI report. We have a great episode today, super important and interesting AI news. Robot strippers are waiting for you at the end. Let's get into it. This is the most consequential event in AI I've seen recently. Multi-on AI is either the first or one of the first AI personal assistants that can run on your phone. Let's see it in action here. So the user says they want to make spaghetti tonight and they instruct the assistant to place a pickup order at Walmart with all the ingredients needed. That's practically all the user says. Then the magic starts. Muteon navigates to the Walmart website and starts adding all the necessary ingredients for spaghetti. Okay, some of these ingredients are suspicious, but they will get the job done. After all the ingredients are added to the cart, the assistant will proceed to place the order. Okay, this is impressive. This was the next step that AI needed to take. Until now it was read only, meaning you could only get information from it. But now it can take action on our behalf. Let's hope it takes action only on our behalf and not on its own behalf. For now you need an Android phone and a Chromium based browser such as Kiwi to try out Multion which is a Chrome extension. Amazing. Okay, that was great, but now we have a few concerning pieces we need to cover. Researchers from British universities train a deep learning model that can steal your keyboard keystroke data by listening to the sounds that the keys make while typing. The model doesn't even need to be trained on your own keyboard sounds. If the attackers can just find the same model of keyboard, they can use it instead. The accuracy rate is 95%. This only needs a microphone to work. The accuracy increases with better microphones and acoustics, of course, and this can even work through a Zoom call. Geez, there's no when to hack our ingenuity. There are some mitigation strategies suggested, such as white noise, software-based keystroke audio filters, and altering typing styles. Next, more bad news, Zoom have updated their terms and can now use the videos from your meetings to train their AIs. Currently, there is no way to opt out of this. Okay, I really don't like this. I don't want Zoom building a clone of me. If anyone should build a clone of me, it should be me. I'm not using Zoom that much to be honest, but for the time being, I may even turn off the camera or use another tool entirely. This won't fly here. Moving on, Sam Altman is worried about the effects that AI can have on elections. I am nervous about the impact AI is going to have on future elections, at least until everyone gets used to it. Personalized one-on-one -on -one persuasion combined with high-quality generated media is going to be a powerful force, he writes on Twitter. I love Altman's strategy. He plays a major role in this entire AI thing. He's definitely a part of the problem here, but by acknowledging the risks and dangers, he's kind of putting everyone's minds at rest. We're, we're all thinking like, well, good, this dude is also worried, just like we all are. And since we mentioned Sam Altman, I just became aware of ChatGPT's GPT bot, which is the web crawler that OpenAI is using to gather all the data used for training ChatGPT. The documentation includes a simple instruction on how you can prevent ChatGPT from being trained on your website's data. Mm, okay, but why are we finding about this now? They should have asked way before, right? Anyway, personally, I'm gonna think about this, but I think I will allow AI to be trained on my blogs and websites, at least for now. Sure, I am worried about being replaced by AIs and all of that, but somehow I want to be a part of this. I want to contribute no matter how small that contribution is. Let's make AIs, why not? But let's do this right. Maybe some attribution at least would be a good start and a display of good faith. Also, the companies must be fair and not abuse the trust of bloggers, in which case I will probably quickly change my mind. Next, China is using AI to build high-speed railways faster and better. Some of the hardest tasks are given to AI-powered machines. The Chinese railway network is currently the second in the world in terms of size, I believe, but they are investing heavily in this and they may soon overtake the US. Okay, good. It's good to see China use AI for something other than mass espionage. We bash China often on this channel, but this is a clear win for them and for AI. Moving on, more great news. AI will help identify cancer mutations in DNA fragments and set tumor samples and develop personalized cancer treatments. The Variant Network Method, or VARNET, developed by scientists from the Genome Institute of Singapore, uses deep learning to detect cancer mutations. 
Genome mutations are thought to be the general cause of cancer and identifying them can be essential for creating personalized treatments. These people are heroes. Thank you, boys and girls using AI to cure cancer. I think cancer is in trouble generally. I keep seeing news like this almost every day now. Yeah, cancer might be cured in the next few decades. And finally, probably the most disturbing AI content I've seen in the last few days, although for many others it sounds like it's the best news ever. Robot strippers are real now. Ready for the video? Let's check it out. She looks like she would be named Destiny, or maybe Glitter, maybe Cinnamon if she's spicy. Okay, the gas tank for my nightmares is full once again. To be fair, the robot stripper seems to have more rhythm than the average drunk girl out there, but the robot stripper won't throw up in your lap, so where's the fun in that? What worries me are the comments on these videos. Men can't wait to make it rain on this robot. I mean. Jeez, aren't real strippers a big enough scam? Cardi B drugging you and stealing your wallet without even sleeping with you wasn't humiliating enough for you? Now you want the machine to do that? Seriously? And what about stripper jobs? How are strippers supposed to support their abusive drunk boyfriends now? Aren't you worried about that? Well, I like the idea of fighting for humankind and encouraging people to stay human and use AI to improve their lives instead of making them weak and stupid. And it's a good fight, definitely a fight worth having, but I fear that eventually this will be the fall of humanity. This is how mankind will fall. Glitter AI will win, and that's the way it is. That was the AI report, like and subscribe if you want to join the good fight, and I will see you tomorrow.